My name's Nick McDonald Grantley. I too am a local Canberra born and bred individual. Um, and like Michael, I grew up on the south side of town, a little bit closer in around Curtin and, and Yarralumma. Um, and I've known the Snow family all that time. And uh, I'm now in a privileged position to be working for the Capital Airport Group and uh, delivering a suburb <coughs> in the Mulongo Valley called Demon Prospect. Um, what I'm going to be talking to you tonight about uh, is creating identity through built form. And uh, I'm going to run you through a series of images, <coughs> some of which I hope will make you feel good and proud as an Australian, and some of them will actually give you some sort of understanding of what it is that we are trying to do with built form with Capital Airport Group, and also particularly with Demon Prospect and the Malonglo Valley, so people get that identity. Um, I'll start with this little image here, and uh, I'm sure all of you know exactly what that building is. Uh, very controversial when it was first built, partly because of budget, but partly because of design. But when you look at that, when I look at that, I feel very proud to be an Australian. For me, it looks like Australia, whether it's the wind, whether it's the waves, uh, so many beautiful things about Australia are shown in that simple building. And someone had the bold, uh, took the bold decision to build that building. And this one probably makes it even um, more Australian, if you like, with the Sydney Harbour Bridge sitting directly behind it. And so an identity is created through this built form. And I think this is probably the extreme example of what I'm trying to convey to you and something <coughs> that I think that we need to understand um, is good quality, is a good thing to have in, in your, in your lives. Um, coming a little bit closer to home, there are these uh, pieces of infrastructure that have been uh, built that again help resonate with me as a Canberran. So when I'm riding my bike around Lake Burley Griffin or paddling my canoe down the lake, um, I look up and I see images like that and I see images uh, like that when I'm walking around town that really help me to understand who it is that I identify with. And I think the indigenous art at the front of that um, uh, beautiful uh, courtyard, um, and then that really imposing building with the dramatic uh, flagpole up above, helps to create our identity. These two, um, uh, and it's, it's, it's a, a symbolic uh, structure, the Telstra Tower, I mean, uh, somewhat redundant now in the way that technology has gone but it helps me to identify with Canberra. And again, the Arboretum, Wide Brown Land Sculpture, is a really good example of built form helping me to create my identity. And I know that thousands of other people uh, these images resonate with. Um, it's through working with the airport group that I've been privileged enough to then start to delve a little bit closer to home. And, and Terry in particular, but Jeanette and Stephen have this passion about public art, public infrastructure, that helps you to identify. So when you hop off your plane and you, you're coming back into Canberra and you see such dramatic pieces as this, then you feel like you've come home. You feel your identity. You know that you're in this safe and wonderful place that we call home. And that helps you to identify with yourself. Um, another example is Phil Price's piece right at the entry to the airport that all of you would have driven past as you drove in here today if you came in earlier. And to see that wonderful piece dance in a bit of wind or even when it's stationary and you sort of look there and you sort of think, oh, what is it? Is, it? is it a Jetsons tree or is it you know, from some outer space? Uh, but it is really a beautiful uh, symbol of, of Canberra. And uh, again, something as simple as a row of trees in autumn, in Canberra, with a beautiful hotel sitting behind it, actually helps to create that identity. You come home to this and you see it and you feel at home. So out of Denver Prospect, we're putting these pieces in. This was uh, about a month or so ago, the yellow piece again by Phil Price, and then your cook piece in the background there, helping us to create our, our identity. Uh, this piece by uh, um, Michael Snape, sitting in the middle of the uh, pond, a stainless steel glow with these running figures and human movement, <coughs> make you think about you know, all the wonderful things that humans can do. And then finally, this from a local artist, a camera artist, a guy by the name of Phil Spellman, um, in our uh, park that just got installed just a week or so ago. And again, helping us to create our identity. Thank you. Thank you.